Okay, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Queen Naja fed up with Chris Sales and tells what really happened. Let's get it. Chris Sales and she did respond because recently Chris Sales did react to Queen's comment admitting that her and Clarence was just trolling and that she's not really engaged. No, that was a close one on my soul. I thought they really got married. I was in my room crying day, night, and day in. But not on a serious note, baby girl, you did not troll us. You trolled yourself. <laughs> I'm trying to act like I'm happy when really I'm hurting for real, for real. Y'all, give me something else to react to on my TikTok besides this. Because y'all want me to do this, clearly. And what I mean by y'all, nobody. I wanted to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no troll shit. They look really happy, though. Queen responded, she said, while he's laughing at me, I hope this coin he makes off my name help a little bit with some of his son's expenses because I gave him grace by not putting him on with child support. I've been so nice. He hasn't taught his son anything valuable. It's sad that another man had to come in and do his part shaking my head. And yet he may have made me a wife quickly, but he also put bruises on me during the marriage, choked me up, ruined my self-confidence by calling me ugly, calling my body ugly after giving birth to his child, carelessly stepped out on our marriage countless of times, hogged all the money we made and other unspeakable things but laughing at me because i haven't married again yet i'd rather take my time in a healthy relationship than to be in a traumatic marriage you would have thought he would have done some self-work to become a better man after all these years but no still a delusional narcissist liar i can only pray my son doesn't turn out like him he needs to seek the god he stopped believing in someone said the way he keeps speaking on her you could tell he got <coughs> enjoyment from tearing her down <coughs> we responded exactly he does imagine behind closed doors he always taunted me like a demon like everything was negative it was never no good it was never no glorification which i understand because obviously if somebody break your heart it's like you don't want to get that no praise like you want to show how up of a person he is you feel me but at the end of the day it wasn't i admit that it wasn't always peaches and cream and you know laughs and giggles that's what any relationship but if i tell y'all what the fuck i've been through nah nah it was crazy like, if I tell my side of the story, like, it was crazy. Like, what the f I had to go through. You feel me? Like, it was, it was, it was like, I feel like it was equivalent to cheating. Like, I feel like I know, I know when somebody get cheated on that shit hurt, too. Like, don't get me wrong, but what I had to go through, I, I went through a lot of hurt in that relationship, too. Like, I've been through hella hurt, and then it even hurt me more, you know, when, you know, I was being bullied online. So, I just never, I never really got to. Nigga, you, Chris could have talked about this a long time ago. Say my piece, you know. Um... But it was hella shit, bro. It was like with her family. Like, I know y'all seen it. Like, I know y'all see how her family... Like, I love her family to death, but it's just the truth. Like, I, I still love her family. Her sister, her brother, uh, her mom. Like, I still got love for them, for sure. But at the end of the day, you don't know what they put me through in a mental state. I and mean, it wasn't healthy. Like, they didn't want... Like, her mom didn't want me to marry her because her mom felt like she was going to be alone. So she did everything to... You feel me? To hurt me. Just so I wouldn't be with her daughter. And I ain't did shit. Then that during that time, I ain't want to do nothing but love on her. Like all I all I ever wanted to do was love on her. Like I wasn't cheating on her. I thought she was the most beautifulest girl in the. In the beginning, he wasn't cheating on her. World, you feel me? Like I ain't see no wrong in her. Like even when her parents was hurting me, like you know her parents ain't ain't have a lot. Her mom ain't have a lot, and which is okay. But you know I tried to make ends meet. Like I called my mom because you know I left. When I dropped out of high school, I went to her crib, you feel me? Like, I dropped out of high school, my mom was like, if you ain't gonna get no job, if you ain't gonna do this, if you ain't gonna go to college, you know, you need to go to the army or something. My mom welcomed me into her crib, and I love her for that, you know, because I would have been homeless if she hadn't. But, like, she is just getting mad over it, like, just, just shit. Like, I just try to help her out. That's why I want to go back. But what I crush, yeah, I'm not, you, you want me to lie on this app? I'm not gonna lie for none of y'all. I'm gonna speak my truth. I spent a block. 10 times, 15, shit, hell, I get dizzy, fall out, wake up, and keep spinning that motherfucker. Fuck you talking about? You miss her? Y'all want <laughs> We know you still do it. The queen, queen got them bossed up on your ass. <laughs> want to know the truth? No, I don't miss her. I thought you wanted to get married. I do. When I turn 30, I'm 28. Now, I might beat them to the punch. I might get married first. Corey said Carmen is the reason he can't take care of his kids. What? Like, cause... Yeah, no. My kids are getting kept away from me, man. You feel me? So, I'm I'm going through the court process right now. You know, my kids been in my life since they was born, bro. You feel yeah. Me? Like, you go on my YouTube channel, you go see that my kids always been in my life. Like, one thing everybody know about me, I'm a great father, you know? Coming from where I come from, we Alabama made. So, my kids been taken away from me since this whole situation started. 
And it looks, so, and you know, and I'm glad you brought that up because I be getting tired of that shit. People are like, man, go take care of your kid. How the fuck am I going to take care of my kid when they being kept away from me? Yeah. I don't know where they at. I can't get in contact with them. You, you feel me? And then the other side, public said that I feel like they should, he shouldn't be around his kids. Like, that's crazy as fuck like, for a woman to even say something like that. And it's fucked up to see how many women on social media, like, allowing that, like, preaching towards that. Like, say, yeah, yeah. Like, so it just, like, how do you go? agree with somebody saying that the father should not be running their kids and then come in and me and say go take care of your kids your relationship status a female asked me to ask you what's your relationship status i'm taking it oh shit i ain't yeah. finna i'm not finna you hide heard it. it i'm not finna hide that but these females still don't give a fuck though nah they don't you feel what i'm saying no nah, i got a bad bitch you feel what i'm saying i got i got a good one mine fuck with me a hundred percent in my lawyer down you feel what I'm saying? Uh, it's like that. Like, who can say what on what? Y'all still don't know Boogie personal life. Still. And they can say what the fuck they want. I'm smiling because they can say. Damn, who knew he was taking now? What the fuck they want to say. Y'all still ain't stopping nothing. And y'all still ain't stopping nothing going on in Boogie life. At the end of the day, so what? <laughs> <laughs> so what? Yeah. Who leaving what? Cause whatever big dude step is stumped, huh? Right. Danny Corey's girlfriend is now being accused allegedly by a client for using his social security to buy herself a car. Man, y'all ought to made it downtown. Y'all already know we're about to go on now. Y'all, y'all see that? Oh wait, look what we got now. Look at that. They had me come to Attorney General. You done put so much shit in my name. No, she finally did my credit and shit. I ain't see shit, man. My, my... I don't even want to see this. Uh, Hold on. <laughs> do you actually think that I would go put a fucking car in somebody's name and list my name at the contact it's the dumb, It's like the dumbest That's shit That's the ever, dumbest bro. shit ever. Like... Oh, I ain't see this lie. Like, what the fuck you just did to my fucking credit, ho? Don't tell her your social. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. First of all, this shit Boy, is a lie. Boy, this is so goddamn crazy, man. Second of man. all, Hold on. do you actually <laughs> think that I would go put a fucking car in somebody's name and list my name at the contact it's, dumb, it's like the dumbest That's shit That's the ever, dumbest bro. shit ever. Like, if I go put a but car you gotta in think somebody's about it. name. You gotta, you, know, I'll just, you gotta think about it. You gotta know. some real shit, though. You gotta understand that a lot of these people don't understand. I understand it. I understand it. You know what I'm saying? Why would I go put a car in somebody's name and yeah, list put your myself name on that as a contact person? Y'all gotta understand, people just be want fucking clout. Like, dude, if I put a car in your in my name, why the fuck would my number and my email address That's be like the stupidest person? shit ever. Though, That's bro. like the dumbest shit ever. Like, y'all gotta understand. Like, you think I've been doing this for eight years and I'm still around here just walking? You think I'm playing with the IRS? And I've been doing sex for eight years? You just gotta think. They said I opened five credit. First of all, I did credit back in 2018. I did credit since 2018, 2019. Second of all, that's a meal. But you said to me, I went in a dealership and put a car in a meal name. That's what you said to me? Okay. I, I got an ID <laughs> and did this and I, I went. So if that's the case. Her her having that conversation with whoever she was having that conversation with, um, I feel like has something to do with it. Um, but it's given or somebody she worked for or that worked for her or whatever. Um you know what? I don't know. I need to see if this girl go to jail or not. Why that dealership? That's the only way I'm believing it, y'all. I know they got footage, right? Dealerships, they have cameras. So the day he dropped the footage of me walking my little ass in there, my little thin ass, I'm on the 130, and I'm finding paperwork doing something like that, then you let me know. Because if, some, if I put anything in somebody, if I put a car in somebody else's name, why would I leave myself as a contact person on the application document? Have y'all ever thought about that? Have y'all thought about that? Ain't that dumb? Let me, if I go get your credit and I get your ID or whatever the case may be, and I go put a car in your name, and I leave my own real name as the country folks. Don't think. That don't bring up no red flags to y'all. <laughs> Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. A lot of people convinced she did that shit, so here we are. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. I'm just let y'all know I don't believe nothing until she go to jail. She don't go to jail? She ain't do it. She go to jail? She did that shit. Bye.